ESD system. In today's video, I will be presenting the emergency shutdown system ESD. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand and identify the ESD system and its components, and be able to locate them on a well-testing layout diagram. The Emergency Shutdown System ESD, controls the flowline valve actuator and, if necessary, an additional surface safety valve located upstream of the choke manifold. Additional push-button stations can be located, for example, at the steam heat exchanger, separator, gauge tank and burner pedestals. The ESD system can be complemented by high or low-level alarms. The pilots initiate well closure when the pressure rises above a high-level threshold, perhaps due to choke plugging, or falls below a low-level threshold, due to flow line leakage. The ESD system consists of an ESD control skid that includes a pump, hydraulic tank, air reservoir, and three hose reels. The first hose reel contains 20 meters of high-pressure hose for a shutdown valve actuator. The other two reels each contain 90 meters of low-pressure hose for connecting the push-button stations. The ESD actuator system is designed for use with any single-action, fail-safe actuator, provided required hydraulic pressure does not exceed 6,000 psi. The main function of the ESD is to quickly close the well in an emergency situation, pipe break, fire, etc. The ESD system allows a flow line valve to be safely closed from a remote station or from the ESD console. The well test emergency shutdown allows remote closing of a flow line valve should quick closure be necessary due to pipe leak or burst, separator malfunction, fire, etc. The system is suitable for connection to the actuated flow head valve or any other single action, failsafe, hydraulic actuated valve. The equipment consists of a pneumatic console which pressurizes the various pneumatic and hydraulic circuits, push-pull shutdown stations and in some instances, high-low pressure pilots. In an emergency, either the pressure pilots or the manual ESD stations release the air pressure in the system. The hydraulic circuit is then bed off by the interface valve in the console and the fail-safe valve closes. The general layout of an ESD includes high and low pilots. If the high pilot senses the flow line pressure is below the preset value, fixed by the adjustable spring force, air supply pressure is retained between the high pilot and the interface valve in the console. Hydraulic pressure from the pump is allowed to go to the hydraulic actuator, keeping the shutdown valve open. When the flow line pressure rises above the preset spring value, air is bled off at the high pilot, the interface valve vents the hydraulic pressure from the actuator, and the shutdown valve closes. If the low pilot senses the flow line pressure is above the preset value, fixed by the adjustable spring force, air supply pressure is retained between the low pilot and the interface valve in the console. Hydraulic pressure from the pump is allowed to go to the hydraulic actuator, keeping the shutdown valve open. When the flow line pressure falls below the preset spring value, air is bled off at the low pilot, the interface valve vents the hydraulic pressure from the actuator, and the shutdown valve closes. The ESD system is composed of hydraulic valves, an actuator on the flow head or a surface safety valve independent on the flow line, oil pressure 0 to 6,000 psi, high-low pilots, 30 psi stations 30 psi esd panel composed of hydraulic pump hydraulic oil tank air vessel 150 psi interface valve check valve quick exhaust valve reset valve bypass valve The actuator is located on the flow line of the flow head.
The surface safety valve is located on the flow line, between the flow head and the choke manifold. The ESD stations, at least two, must be located on the separator and in a safe area. But also, on the rig floor, on escape routes and near the well-testing lab cabin. The ESD pilots should be located on the flow line. One high-low pilot on the data header. One high pilot at the inlet of the test separator. On the steam exchanger. One high pilot to control vessel pressure. If the pressure is increasing the high pilot will be activated. Please hit like and subscribe to our channel, in order to help us produce more content like this one. Thank you for your attention and see you in a next video presentation.